Hello, my name is Gerard Gibney from Gibney Consulting and today we are going to step through setting up SmartView. If you haven't worked through the previous SmartView install then I suggest going back to part one and working through that. But if you've already got SmartView installed we'll step through setting it up and connecting it to the server. So here you can see we have Excel open First thing we're going to do is we're going to connect connect to the SBase server via SmartView. So we're going to click on SmartView here, and then we're going to select Options. And then under Options, we're going to select the Advanced tab, which is this one here. And on the Advanced tab, we should go to this Shared Connections URL. And by default this will say something like server 9000 and what you'll need to do is replace this with the name of of the server your sbase server or your actually your provider wherever the provider services is installed so in this case here for me i've got a single server demo environment and uh, my server is called epm vert so i'm just going to type that ep M for T V I or T. That's it. And click OK. And when I click on the panel here, should go over here and oops, let me make this a little smaller. So we can see everything in the window. We should click on shared connections. You can see here it's asking me to log in. I'm just gonna log in. And I can see here on the URL right away. EPM vert 9000 so that that's how I know I connected to the right server I connect in I go type in my password and once I get to here I'm going to choose sbase so I want to just connect directly into sbase if you're connecting to HFM application you'd use this to planning application you would use this and if you just wanted to open up F4 reports you would, you would connect to this but in this case I'm going to connect to an sbase database Here's my SBase cluster, expand that out. And for example, if I'm going to connect to the sample basic application. here, And once I get to the sample basic application, here you can see here I'm connected to it. I can either do right click on this and go ad hoc analysis, or I can go down here and do ad hoc analysis from here as well, from further down below. I'm just going to click on ad hoc analysis. And there we go. We can see that we've actually connected in. and I can drill in on any of these items here to your quarter and that is that is basically it for connecting in to for setting it up and connecting to an sbase server if you have any questions please let me know i'll put up my email address at the end of this presentation thank you